in the landscape of 1960s television. Hazel Stands is a timeless sitcom that left an indelible mark on audiences. Debuting in 1961, the series centered around the comical escapades of Hazel Burke, the lovably assertive maid of the Baxter family. As we delve into the world of this classic show, one might ponder, are there any lesser known facts or anecdotes about this TV series that fascinate you? Or perhaps, when was the first time you watched this TV series? But let's not merely scratch the surface, let's uncover some lesser known facets of Hazel. Created by Ted Key, the show not only showcased Shirley Booth's remarkable talent, but also tackled societal norms of the era with humor and charm. Its unique blend of domestic humor and Hazel's unmistakable personality made it a standout in the television landscape of its time. As we navigate through the nostalgia, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this TV series. We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. What is it about Hazel that lingers in your recollections? So join us in this trip down memory lane and let's celebrate the enduring charm of Hazel. Share your thoughts and anecdotes and let the conversations unfold. After all, every fan has a unique story to tell about this classic sitcom. Hazel, a classic television series that debuted in 1961, revolves around the endearing chaos caused by Hazel Burke, the titular character, portrayed by Shirley Booth. Adapted from Ted Key's popular Saturday Evening Post cartoon, the show is set in the suburban Baxter household, where Hazel takes on the role of the housemaid. With her trademark apron and quick-witted charm, Hazel's unconventional approach to domestic service brings both hilarity and heart to the screen. The character's dynamic with the Baxter family, especially with George Baxter and his wife Dorothy, forms the core of the show. Hazel's no-nonsense attitude and knack for solving problems, often in unexpected ways, endear her to viewers. The series distinguishes itself through its blend of humor and genuine warmth, transcending the traditional sitcom format. Shirley Booth's outstanding performance earned her two primetime Emmy Awards, cementing Hazel's place in television history. Despite its initial success, Hazel faced network changes and format adjustments during its five-season run, but Booth's portrayal remained a consistent highlight. The show's impact on popular culture is evident in its enduring legacy, as Hazel continues to be remembered as an iconic character who challenged gender norms and brought laughter into living rooms across America. The timeless charm of Hazel lies in its ability to capture the essence of everyday life with humor and heart, making it a beloved classic that resonates with audiences even today. Hazel, the 1961 TV series, marked a significant milestone in television history as the first situation comedy to be broadcast in color. The initial season, running from autumn 1961 to spring 1962, was filmed in black and white, but starting in autumn 1962, the show embraced color production for its remaining four seasons. This transition reflected the evolving technology of the time and added a vibrant dimension to the suburban world of Hazel Burke. The switch to color not only enhanced the visual experience for viewers, but also contributed to the series' lasting impact. As the opening credits underwent noticeable changes, one peculiar detail stood out the flamboyant flair accompanying Whitney Blake's appearance, accompanied by her name below, became a distinctive feature of the show's introduction. This subtle but intriguing aspect added a touch of uniqueness to the viewing experience. These details, along with the enduring charm of Hazel's character and the show's ability to blend humor and heart, solidify its place as a classic in television history. Based on the cartoons of Ted Key from the Saturday Evening Post magazine, the 1961 TV series Hazel made a distinctive mark in television history, bringing to life the endearing chaos caused by Hazel Burke. Portrayed by Shirley Booth, the show ventured beyond the conventional sitcom format. One intriguing detail worth noting is that during its first four seasons, the series secured sponsorship from the Ford Motor Company. This partnership not only prominently featured Ford cars throughout the Baxter's suburban life, but also showcased the brand's influence by incorporating the newly introduced Ford Mustang in the spring of 1964. This move reflected not just a sponsorship, but an impactful integration of contemporary automotive trends into the show. As viewers tuned in for Hazel's no-nonsense attitude and problem-solving knack, they were also subtly immersed in the evolving automotive landscape of the time. 
The connection between Hazel and Ford became more than a sponsorship, contributing to the show's cultural resonance in the 1960s. This intersection of television and automotive history adds a unique layer to the enduring legacy of Hazel, a classic series that seamlessly blended humor, heart, and the changing elements of its time, marking it as more than just a sitcom. Whitney Blake, known for her role as Dorothy Baxter in the iconic TV series Hazel, had a personal connection to the Baxter name. In real life, she was married to a man named Baxter and had three children, one of whom was Meredith Baxter. Meredith later became a TV mom in the 82nd sitcom Family Ties, starring alongside Michael J. Fox as Alex Keaton. This familial link adds an interesting layer to the legacy of Hazel, showcasing the interconnected nature of Hollywood families across generations. The show not only left its mark on television history, but also contributed to a family legacy that extended beyond the screen. In the bustling world of Hazel, the 1961 TV series, interesting tidbits pepper its history. Notably, George Baxter, a key character, hailed from the law firm Butterworth, Noel, Hatch, and Baxter. This legal backdrop added a professional layer to the suburban chaos Hazel brought. Digging deeper, the series had a linguistic twist. In French, Hazel's first name was Adele, a linguistic nuance that echoed throughout the show. The name switch added an international flair to the character's identity. Shifting gears, the theme song Evolution offers another lens into Hazel's journey. Initially featuring vocals in the first eight episodes, the melody took a turn, switching to instrumental form from episode 9 till the series end. This subtle alteration in the soundtrack underscored the show's adaptability and resonated with viewers over time. Each nugget of information peels back a layer of Hazel's narrative, whether through George's legal ties, linguistic nuances, or musical transformations. These intricacies, woven into the series, contribute to its enduring charm and multifaceted legacy. In the TV series Hazel, the suburban world of the Baxter household was not just a backdrop for the endearing chaos caused by the titular character. Interestingly, the house where Hazel and the Baxters lived became a familiar setting in Hollywood. Located on Blondie Street at Warner Ranch in Burbank, this faux block served as the home for various TV shows and movies, including Gidget, Bye Bye Birdie, and even the Lethal Weapon movie franchise. The versatility of this iconic location highlights the interconnected nature of Hollywood productions, showcasing the enduring legacy of the place where Hazel's humorous and heartwarming adventures unfolded. Shirley Booth, who portrayed Hazel, brought her talent beyond the TV screen. Following her role in the series, Booth provided the voice of Mrs. Santa Claus in the 1974 film The Year Without a Santa Claus. This post-Hazel endeavor exemplifies Booth's versatility as an actress and her contribution to different facets of the entertainment industry. The opening credits of Hazel offer a subtle yet intriguing detail. As Hazel passes groceries to the Baxter family, the camera captures Dorothy Baxter with a church in the background. This church, a notable feature in the series, faced a significant event in 1970 when a major fire damaged it on the Columbia Ranch. While the original church was leveled, Columbia Studios rebuilt it at a distance, preserving its presence in the show's visuals. The church journey, paralleling Hazel's own adaptability in the series, adds a layer of historical continuity to the iconic scenes filmed on Blondie Street. These lesser-known aspects of Hazel from the shared Hollywood setting to Shirley Booth's post-Hazel roles and the evolving fate of the on-screen church contribute to the rich tapestry of the 1961 TV series. Beyond the humor and heart that characterize Hazel's character, these details add depth to the show's legacy, making it more than just a classic sitcom. Explore the hidden connections and behind-the-scenes stories that make Hazel a timeless piece of television history. As we bid adieu to the captivating world of Hazeland, let the tapestry of nostalgia unravel in your mind. Each episode, a brushstroke on the canvas of our shared history. The 1961 TV series Hazeland transcended mere entertainment. It became a companion, a mirror reflecting our own stories. As you reflect on the characters that graced your screen, the laughter and tears they shared with you, consider this not just a farewell, but a celebration of the timeless connection forged through the magic of Hazeland. What were the moments that etched themselves into the tapestry of your heart? Which characters whispered secrets that still resonate within you? 
Now is the moment to share, to let your voice join the chorus of those who found solace, inspiration, and joy in the tales spun by Hazeland. Whether it's a cherished scene, a memorable quote, or the indelible mark the series left on your life, your story is a part of the rich fabric that makes Hazeland a living, breathing legend. Take a moment to reminisce, to dive into the reservoir of your own memories, and let the echoes of Hazeland resound within. Share your thoughts, your anecdotes, and the emotions that still stir when you think of that small town and its unforgettable inhabitants. Thank you for embarking on this journey through time and television with us. Your connection, your memories, and your reflections make Hazelin not just a series, but a shared experience that spans generations. Until we meet again, woven in the threads of memory.